dancing their first dance at the inauguration ball. I was really very impressed and touched because when you look at them, you see love, chemistry, care, and it's really touching. And when I was organizing for the dinner, I said, why not inviting my boss to dance with me? This is now a tradition sustained over the years, toasting the president who continues to grow and nurture a Gambia of a renowned future. She comes around and tells me, Sherry, do you say Kelly eating? You know what time it is? I say, yes, it's just the day is beginning for me. To what on be malal? You'll fall sick if you don't sleep. I say, oh, don't worry. I've never seen a crocodile get sick. Crocodiles don't sleep. They just open their mouth. No, to a crocodile. I say, sometimes you adapt to nature and then you behave like nature. He announced as part of the occasion marking his 48th birthday series of packages all designed to enhance the livelihood of Gambians. Force is the relaunch of the public transport system which brings to traffic a bus service to facilitate the easy movement of people, especially students. I don't want anybody, any Gambian kid or non-Gambian in this country to have the experience that we had when we were going to school. And I was wondering what to do. I said, this cannot continue. Sometimes I stop, call up the policeman controlling traffic and give him money to hire as many gelegeles as possible to take the student, to make, I make sure that they go before I go, go back to State House. By the grace of the Almighty Allah, as from tomorrow, no student would walk on foot or join a, car, a taxi where he, he or she would be harassed. We have relaunched the public transport system, and tomorrow, by the grace of the Almighty Allah, we would inaugurate and launch a new bus service which will wipe out these gele geles that ask you to pay three times from Banjul to Serekunda. The second surprise is meant to also end the referrals of patients with perceived complicated medical conditions for treatment outside the Gambia. President Jame announced whole new specialized services will soon come into operation at the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital. I was always thinking, what can I do? Most of the cases, People are referred to overseas treatment because the expertise is not there. As from Monday, that will be normal. Unless where well, we don't have the equipment. But we have cardiologists, neurosurgeons, Somebody say TV, yeah? Huh? Yeah. Well, there are so many that I cannot tell you, but what I can tell you is that most of the cases that are referred to overseas treatment or diagnosis purposes will be history. We have all fields of specialization. At the moment, I think I have nine. But before the end of June, we will have 30 doctors that are specialists, and they will be working in the main referral hospitals where there is a lot of equipment. And also, I'll be working with them to provide the equipment that are necessary to make sure that patients are treated well and appropriately. The package approved for the most productive sector of Gambia's population amounts to one million U.S. dollars. The sum will be disbursed through a youth development fund to inject much-needed financing towards approved youth projects. 
What we came with funds like uh, social development fund. The social development fund, most of the beneficiaries were women because they were the ones that were very serious. I always told the youth, the sky is the limit, but you must have wings strong enough for you to fly. And the only problem they had that made so that their wings were short is the attitude. 18 years today, they have changed attitude positively. <laughs> and from today, we're going to launch the Youth Development Fund of $1 million that we will augment every year. <laughs> but we will not give it to the youth. That will pay human traffickers and end up being lunch for a shark across the Atlantic Ocean. We are also not going to give it to individuals. It is easier to put them together to know community spirit and they work together and we will sponsor groups of youth that are serious in various skills. <laughs> the sky is the limit as to what we can do if this positive change of attitude continues. Remember that the Babylon you are talking about was built by the Babylonians. The guests dine and dance to the glories unfolding in this special night, showcasing an unprecedented generosity set to roll out enhanced packages towards the improvement of the social sectors. Their bearings are far and wide, but President Jami was quick to solicit positive attitude to maintenance these personally funded projects. The light that later took over the skylines overlooking the Atlantic Ocean moderated a winding moment that will celebrate another difference in the life of Gambia's beloved president when he turns 49 in 2014. Abinjai, GRCS. And uh, before we go, reminder of our headlines. The President, His Excellency, Sheikh Professor Walhaji Dr. Yahya Jame, has announced a series of development packages for the social sector during the banquet hosted by the First Lady in honor of his 48th birthday anniversary. Scores of well wishes, including Vice President Jai Saidi and other cabinet ministers, today paid their last respects to the late Honorable Paul Mendy. Germany and the U.S. have urged the leadership of Turkey to thread the unrest in Istanbul with care. This as the Prime Minister refused to call off his urban development plan. And the new Chinese President Xi Jinping has jetted into Washington for a two-day visit that could smoothen the seemingly festering ties between Washington and Beijing. That's all in this edition of the news. Thank you very much for your time. Inshallah, we'll be back at 2200 hours with more news. Meanwhile, stay tuned and enjoy our programs. Je vais te couper, 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 je
Más